serious about working on this car. I was living by myself, working remotely from the rest of the family, and I had a garage, and I decided I was going to do the stripping of the quarter panels. And I got this far, and uh, then I got laid off, and when I moved, I was too busy with other things, Corvairs and so forth, so this is just sad. I bought myself a Wow, this thing is heavy. Um, a surface conditioner today, and we're going to attack this panel and see how it does. <laughs> these without saying okay so I've got most of the bondo off it's really difficult to see but suffice it to say there's a whole lot of mess in here down in here um, I'm hoping I can get to it from the inside and do a better job of bumping out than the previous body person did. But my arms are pretty well wiped out for the night. But yeah, there's a, as you can see by the floor and by everywhere, there's a whole lot of a lot of Bondo dust all over. I guess now's the time to make the dust. But we still don't know, I still don't know what I have to look forward to. I definitely have a dent in here which I can get to from inside the trunk. There's a crease there. But other than that, I think this side is Bondo free. So I can certainly use this as a template. So I've got my profile tool. 
going from the top and it seems to be the same kind of profile as would be expected as you go farther down the body panel let's go look at the other side so setting it up at the top it's not too far off I'll come further down the panel okay so it's kind of pushed down towards the bottom all right well, with this tool and a hammer and dolly and access to the interior we will persevere so did not expect all the bondo that was in this area uh, and in order to get to the back side to be able to do some uh, hammer and dolly work I need to empty out the salon of the vehicle so inside there well, as you're going to see are a couple of doors a couple of fenders a lot of cardboard radiator and support and probably some other things but let's uh, We'll move that heater and start stacking things up against the wall there. So we've got inside relatively well vacuumed. These prime parts here need to be protected. I'll wrap them up and they'll end up on a shelf in, in the workshop. So I'm back through there. So there's a bunch of parts in the trunk, including all the glass. But if I'm to get out big dents like that and what's on the other side, I need to have good access to the trunk. So. We will uncover it and see what's underneath there. All right, we're running out of battery, so we'll talk fast. Uh, some of the parts there, the rear arm rusts, main wire harness front to back, some ducting for under the dash. Here we've got the front grills underneath or the tail light extensions. Uh, the radio is in that box. Back in the corner is um, sills and all the chrome for the wheel wells and around the back of the convertible top. What's left in the trunk? Oh yeah, we put the main console there. There are the two front windows. I think they're front windows. They're windows. Back under here, I think, are the rear windows as well as the wing windows. I'm going to go through this box until I run out of batteries just to see what's in here. It's going to transfer from one box to the next. We've got the, I think that's an extra hood bracket. These are some under hood shrouding pieces. That's another under hood shrouding piece. We've got the thing for the air conditioner, reservoir. We've got hoses, We've got an antenna. Got the washer fluid reservoir. We've got some bracket. 
Something in a bag. Feels like gaskets. Bunch of gaskets. Hmm. I'll have to figure out where those gaskets go. Got side view mirror gasket. We've got side view mirror housing. Got a broken seat belt cover. We've got a adjustable mirror. I don't remember if that was. I think that came with the car. Um, got feels like a dead battery cable. Another um, bracket for the engine. Here is what feels like transmission shifter mechanism. Maybe. Got a horn. Piece of shrouding, another lower hose. This appears to be an AC line. We've got an old thermostat housing. I'll call it a spare. We've got the jack base. Look at that. We've got a seat belt. No, it's an end of seat. It's not the right color. That one goes with the bench seat that I pulled out of the one. This shush, don't know. Uh, the original lug wrench. I think this, this is the bracket that holds that air conditioner piece in. Piece of chewed up wire. Uh, knob for the radio. A knob for the wing window. Hold off these two clamps. Um, another knob for the radio. Some other hardwares. Um, bumpers, screws. Who knows? That's what happens when that's for the window crank. And that goes there. So I'll put all those together with that. Put these in where they should go in my collection. What is this? That is just something from Grand Auto. A fix a flat for $3.85. A little bit more expensive. All right, there's a nut for the radio. That missed, but it's in the box. So this box goes away. It is definitely empty. All right, I'll bring you back when I've got something better to look at. So I could pop out this ding, but unfortunately, it just goes right back in again. I think the issue is back here where there was this side swiping. So I can get to the inside. So I've got my hammer, my dolly, and some hammers. I'm going to try to hammer that panel out, and that should keep the oil canning from occurring. And I do have my profile gauge, so I can go to the other side, which for the most part is in good shape there we go for the most part is in good shape i need more space nothing's going to be going on out here in the front for a while so i'm going to try to move as much of that over here as i can i've already started there's the wing windows under there those are the front windows and then behind them are the rear windows and oh yeah we've moved the radiator and core support into place and it's held there um, all the chrome strip used to be in the corner it's now on top to make room for as much going back there as I can Let's see what else we can get there one door is tucked back there the other door will go on top of it one thing I did do was masked over the white painted sections of the door it's probably premature but I had done that on the main salon of the car that matches now. Premature? No, that was too late in coming. Here's a before shot of the passenger quarter panel. You can see again that uh, dent there. There's oil canning there. I got it better now that I've 
kind of corrected in this area here. But I know there's some Bondo in here. I can see some of it. So we'll see how much. The rest of it sounds, sounds good. So I know I'm not going to end up with what I've got on that side. At least I don't expect to. I went ahead and purchased an entire quarter panel. Again, it's it's hard to see, but this is just a just a mess. Um, all in here, uh, I can't and I can't get to the back side of a lot of that, so it, it just made sense. Um, yeah, in the end, it's three hundred and some dollars and a and a weight, but and it's going to be a lot of stitch welding to fit it in all the way. And I'm going to go ahead and go. I may as well go all the way back into here because there's there's dings and dents in there. Doesn't save me that much by stopping, you know, somewhere in here. Um, but I could change my mind. Who knows? So that part hopefully will be here before April. Um, they don't have those kind of things on the shelf, so. I'm Fortunately, I gotta wait, but there's plenty to do before then. Thought about a rear panel, but there is a big panel trim that completely covers that. All I really need to do is just protect it from any more welding. I'm sorry, any more rusting. Um, so this evening, I got a new drum for the new surface contour, and I'm going to remove the paint and hopefully just paint from this quarter panel we'll see what we end up with i don't know after about 20 minutes we again confirmed there was bondo down there a little bit of a surprise some bondo in this area and that may extend but other than that uh no bondo just primer and paint we'll keep going so there wasn't much in the way of Bondo in that area. I mean, there were some holes where they had probably drilled and tried to pull out something, and it's certainly rough in that area. Then all of a sudden I get up into here, and just like on the other side, there's a lot of Bondo, and I, I don't understand. I mean, I guess I guess somebody gets sideswiped on one side, but both sides. Uh, so we'll finish taking it all off. See what it looks like underneath. I don't really want to buy and weld in another quarter panel. Err. Uh, very frustrating. Very disappointing. Quite a bit of Bondo on here. I think down around there is about the worst. Estimating it's like a quarter of an inch. Again, not so bad down further. I mean, well, it's probably at least an eighth of an inch. That's an eighth of an inch. It's about an eighth. Up there is kind of a skim, but this feels like quite a bit and obviously they had to work on it there all along there they had to pull stuff out mention these up here bondo back there <sighs> once you get below the crease oh, there's still yeah there's still some there it's just freaky how both sides have gotten so beat up. It doesn't make much sense to remove any more if I'm just going to buy another another quarter panel. Again, we still have the the oil canning.
it now seems to be. I could probably work that out, but uh, that's a shame. Well, in order to weld in a new one, I do need to come across. I've got most of this up here done. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom, go around the fender, but I'll probably stitch well or butt weld across here. I guess it depends too of how much wraps around because this is not in real good shape given the bondo that came off of it. It's uh, dinged up there. That's just crazy. All right. Well, we've got plenty of other places to remove paint tops of the quarter panels there they're not going to get replaced oh shouldn't have to uh same thing on the other side we've got to remove paint from around the windshield we've got those rocker panels all the way along there on both sides move some more paint there so we'll just keep going across the top and see what that looks like all right i'm done for the night gotten most of it off of the passenger rocker panel up into the lower part of the quarter panel. I'll be making call tomorrow to Summit ordering another I don't know that just seems like way too much either way and like I pointed out it makes sense. That's a long oil can. Stripped paint off the top. Took off the trunk lid. Strip paint all across there. Down along the top. Across the top of the fender. I haven't touched the, the rocket panel on this side, but that will be for another night.